So I'm going to now talk about finding maximas and minimas. Suppose I have two sources over here. I call this as source S1 and source S2. And let's say that they are coherent sources. I'm just going to write them down. S1 and S2 are coherent. What is the meaning of coherent sources? It means that their frequency will be same, uh, their amplitudes uh, may be same, but what is important is that they will have a constant phase relationship. What this means, uh, if, if, if this is going to start cresting, then this will also start cresting, and they will always keep cresting together and always keep troughing together. So basically, they will have zero phase difference or they can have a constant phase difference, but that phase difference must remain the same. It should be locked together. So if I take, for example, two separate light bulbs, then whatever wave is going uh, given out by one light bulb, it has nothing to do with the wave given out by the second light bulb. So I would say two light bulbs are not coherent sources of waves. So whatever follows is only for coherent sources. Suppose they have the same wavelength, and let's say for our example, the wavelength is of 4 meters. Here is my screen. Let's say that they both travel equal distances and meet at the center, and uh, they end up traveling, let's say, 12 meters. How many waves are going to be in those 12 meters? Well, since each wave is 4 meter long and there is 12 meters, I can say S1 has 3 waves in it. And let's say it starts cresting over here. So I have 1, I have 2, and I have 3. But since I said S2 is coherent with S1, since S1 is cresting, I will also say S2 is cresting. So here also S2 crests and it will end up having 3 waves. And when they meet at that point, what do you see? Trough on a trough. That means they are going to construct each other. So this is the case for construction. This means that if the two waves travel exactly the same distance, then they are always going to end up constructing each other, provided they start cresting together. That is, of course, important. Anyways, I can say now the difference in their path is zero. So if the difference in the path, which we call that as a path difference, if that is zero, I get a construction. But when else can I get a construction? Suppose I have the two sources like so. Let's say one travels 12 meters, S1, but let's say S2 travels a um, little bit more, and it turns out to be 16 meters. What happens then? Well, S1 again has three waves in it, two and three. But S2, since it's four, 16 by four is four, and so it ends up having four waves. Remember, I have to start cresting it because they are coherent sources. Two, three, four. What do I see? Ah, yeah, construction. So if the path difference, you see, is 16 minus 12 is four. So if path difference is four meters, which in our case is one lambda, I still get a construction. When else do I get a construction? Okay, I'm going to do one more, and then it is your job to get the pattern right. S1, S2, let's say S1 travels 12 meters, and S2 ends up traveling, it's supposed to be a straight line, uh, it ends up traveling, let's say, uh, 20 meters. Now, S1 has three waves in it, two, three. S2, 20 by 4, is 5, so there will be 5 waves. I have to squeeze in 5 waves in this one, two, three, four, five. 
Ah, again a construction. So if I have the path difference to be 20 minus 12, which is 8, which is 2 times lambda, I again get the construction. Are you guys getting the pattern? I hope you are because I can now see that 4 lambda, for 2 lambda, 3 lambda, 4 lambda, 5 lambda, and so on, all lambdas, all n lambdas, I end up getting a construction. So I can say delta lambda, the path difference in general has to be n lambda, where n is an integer. So n can be 0, I get this, I get this over here, it can be 1 over here, it can be 2 and 3, it can be maybe 95 somewhere, and so on. And for all these cases, I end up getting a construction. So this is the criterion for two coherent waves to in phase with each other to always constructively interfere with each other. And that's the case in terms of path difference. But what is it in terms of phase difference? We have discussed the relation between path and phase difference. You know that 2 pi corresponds to a path difference of lambda. Therefore, a path difference of n lambda corresponds to 2 pi into n lambda divided by lambda equals 2 pi n. So I can say the corresponding phase difference should equal to 2 m pi. Yeah, that makes sense. For example, if the phase difference is zero, they're in phase, they constructively interfere. But if the phase difference is 2 pi, remember, every 2 pi corresponds to one complete oscillation. So if the phase difference is 2 pi, that means one wave is one full oscillation ahead of the other. That's exactly what this means. And of course, you end up having construction. Ah, makes perfect sense. Now, let's talk about minimas. Oh, this is maxima, by the way. Now, let's talk about minimas. Destruction. So for destruction, let's say that I have the two sources, same sources, and one travels 12 meters, and the other one ends up traveling 14 meters. Well, S1 has three waves in it, three, 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 and S2 has how many waves? Uh, 12 meters are three waves, then I have 2 meters extra, which is a half a wave. So there are 3 and a half waves in this. So there's 3, and there's a half a wave. And look what you see. Can you see that? What you see is that the crest of one is falling on the trough of the other. They are going to destroy each other. So now I can write down what is the condition for my destruction. Where do I write that? Mm, I write over here. So destruction, what the condition I have is that the path difference delta lambda is 14 minus 12, which is 2, which is half of lambda. So half lambda gives me a destruction. When else do I get a destruction? Well, we are going to keep S1 to L itself. But let's say S2 travels um, 18 meters. S1 still has three waves in it. But now how many waves does S2 have? 16 corresponds to four waves. And I have an additional two, which corresponds to another half. So four and a half. So there's one, there's two, three, four and five again they kill each other they murder each other gone destruction so what is the path difference here we have 18 minus 12 that is six and how much is six in terms of lambda it's lambda plus lambda by two so it's lambda plus lambda by two are you guys getting the pattern I hope you do. This is the last one because I'm running out of running out of uh, you know place over here. So let's say S1 is here, S2 is there, and let's say this is 12 meters, 
and this is 22 meters. Ah, three waves here. Okay, fine. 22 meters corresponds to uh, five and a half waves. You do the math, guys. So one, two, three, four, five, and another one. Can you see that? They kill each other again. So again, destruction. So what is now the path difference? 22 minus 12, that gives me a 10. And 10 is 8 plus 2, that is 2 lambda. That is 8 plus 2, that is lambda by 2. And now I hope, I hope you see the pattern. I have lambda by 2, I have lambda plus lambda by 2, I have 2 lambda plus lambda by 2, next comes 3 lambda plus lambda by 2, and so I can finally write that the delta lambda must be equal to n lambda plus lambda by 2. Or I can just go ahead and write, call it as 2n plus 1 lambda over 2. And that is the condition for destruction. Again, what value is for n? I can put a 0. So I get the first one. And I can put a 1. I can put a 2. I can put uh, 1,990. And then I can continue. So all these numbers will work. And what is in terms of phase difference? I do the same cross multiplication again. I say 2 pi corresponds to lambda. So now I have 2n plus 1 lambda by 2. And what does that correspond to? Uh, 2n plus 1 lambda by 2 into 2 pi divided by lambda. Lambda cancels. 2 cancels. I have 2n plus 1 into pi and so this is the case for destruction and so now you know when constructions happen and when destructions happen in terms of the path differences and the phase differences provided provided you have two coherent sources which are in phase. In all these cases, they are not only just coherent, but they are in phase. And this crests, this one also crests. So for in phase coherent sources, these will work.